Hello, I'm Lee Hennessy. Today we will be exploring Quizzes. It is a web tool that allows teachers to conduct student-paced formative assessments in a fun and engaging way for students. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with quizzes. Today we will go over how to create a new quiz, how to assign a quiz with the new setting options, and how to share the quizzes code. First, you will need to go to quizzes.com and log in with either an existing account or logging in with Google. Once you log in, you can either find a quiz or create a new quiz. Once you press create a new quiz, you will need to give it a name and click what subject it belongs to. Now you can either create a new question or teleport from an existing quizzes. As you can see, there are now five options that you can create a question with. You can either do multiple choice, checkbox, which is multi-select, fill in the blank, a poll question, or open-ended. Let's start off with multiple choice. Once you're here, you type in your question and you give it your answer choices. Notice you don't have to give it all of the answer choices, but you can add answer choices as well. If you're not happy with multiple choice, you can switch it to multi-select, where now these check boxes appear and you can pick however many are correct. Fill in the blank, they will type their answer and you will give suggested answer options that they can put in. Open-ended, as you can see, the answer options go away because they will type their answer and you will have to read it and decide whether it is right or wrong yourself. And then poll questions where they can pick, you can have it as allow multiple selections. Um, so let's go ahead and do fill in the blank and press save when you're done. However many that you would want, you can either teleport as well if you wanted to um, add any questions from other quizzes and then when you are happy with it, you press done. Now that we're here, you can, this is how you assign it. We're going to assign as play live today, but you can do homework, which allows you to have it um, due at a later time, or you can practice it yourself solo. When you press play live, as you can see, there are different options. So there are team, classic, and test. And these are the new options that we would like to talk about. So there is student attempts, the name factory. So you can turn that one on. It's students can only use fun quizzes generated names. Down here, you have to press leaderboard in order to get the new power-ups where there are nine different things that students can get by answering questions correct. Um, and a redemption question allows them to reattempt a few incorrect questions. Um, the memes are still there. You can shuffle uh, questions and the answer options, and you can also give them a timer. Once you're done, um, you press continue, and now you know uh, the code and you can share it via Google Classroom, uh, Remind, or any other, or you can just copy the link and send it to them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.